Okay. And of course, let me stick that up there. Okay. All right. So thank you for joining into my Periscope. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be our daily reading for Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. And I had just, yesterday was the first day that I did this live on Periscope. And I just thought, you know, I, I'm going to start doing that. Because I want to incorporate my Periscope audience more than I had been. So, thank you for joining. Um, those who joined in yesterday got a special treat because I did a whole lot of serious personal readings. Some awesome information came out yesterday. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is uploaded to my YouTube. And my name on YouTube is Melinda Nail Fanatic. The information is also on the Periscope information for this video. So please make sure you do... Um, join on YouTube for all of the readings. I do monthlies and dailies. The monthlies are by Zodiac. The dailies are general energies for all of us. And since it is a general energy reading, some information will apply just bits and pieces to you. And for other people regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016, all of this information will apply. And um, it just depends on how you're resonating with me at the time, on the vibration that I'm on, and what I'm picking up from Love Source God. So I do personal readings by donations. I don't have a set price for my spiritual work. It is all done by donations. So if you would like more information, please email me at the address that you see. And those have been going really well. I'm so grateful for all of you that have sent your donations and requested your own personal readings. It is a real honor and pleasure to be able to work with you in that way. So now, um, let me go ahead and get started for our reading for Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Love Source God, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to receive and deliver the divine messages for my viewers regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for allowing me to receive and deliver the divine messages for my viewers regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for allowing me to receive and deliver the divine messages for my viewers regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016, for their highest and greatest good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for allowing me to receive the divine messages from my brothers and sisters viewing this video for their overall love, peace, and happiness regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. Okay. It is a real honor and a pleasure to be able to have a connection that allows me to access the co collective consciousness for us and do this work and I really do feel extremely grateful for the work that I'm able to do here and I, and I take pleasure in it okay so we're getting an extra card today okay I'm gonna set this aside and then we'll work with the other deck thank you thank you thank you love source God for adding clarity to the message for August 24th 2016 from my brothers and sisters who are viewing this video thank you thank you thank you love source God and by use of these words things are become crystal clear for all who watch regardless of their level of knowledge and their level of connection they can see by the words the messages the clarification of the messages that we just pulled in the tarot regarding Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. For all my brothers and sisters who are watching this video, for our overall love, peace, and happiness, for our highest and greatest good, the things that we should know, and the things that are being revealed to us now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Okay. Let's see. Right here. This one, the top. Okay, and this one too. So we got an extra card from each deck today. So 
somebody must have needed a little bit of extra message today. Okay, one, two, and three. And the bottom of the deck. Obligation, success, retreat, and the yin yang balance. The bottom is the six of wands, which is a immediately brings to mind the victory. Then we have the eight of cups, which is about um, walking away, changes, emotional changes, crossed by the world, which is the end of a cycle. And then we have the lover's card as an outcome and the page of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is pretty clear. Um, okay, so somebody is feeling that they're in a successful situation right now regarding August 24th. You may be ready to end a relationship so that you can move on to a new one because you're getting messages of love and it's feeling a lot more balanced where you're getting these messages of love. You're ready to retreat from a union that you're in for somebody because it's the end of a cycle and you're ready to move on. And and you feel like you've accomplished with the success being here. It makes me feel that you've accomplished all that you can do there. And to allow yourself to come out in a truly victorious way regarding the situation, you know that you're obliged to retreat from this one first before you go for that one. So that's pretty simple. Let me see what else I can glean from this reading. Love Source God, thank you for allowing me to receive additional messages from my brothers and sisters who are viewing this reading. You're moving on to better things. I mean, with the end of the world, like you've got a fuller understanding of a situation and for somebody, this is more in regards to yourself. You're, you've been doing a lot of self-work, a lot of spiritual work inside yourself, trying to know yourself better, understanding that things start from the inside and, and whatever is inside you, whatever you believe internally, where your mind is, where your head space is, is reflecting your external reality. And so you're, you're getting all of the all of the support of the universe of the divine of your higher self and accomplishing that and so that's symbolizing the union in this page of cups in that sense is symbolizing that spirit is um, working with you and you're going to be receiving greater messages adding to greater balance for you inside of your light and dark aspects and so you are um, using your masculine and feminine qualities knowing when to use them and when to retreat and in and there's a situation here where you're going to be dealing with somebody or someone and it's going to require that you use these these skills and the, the know the time to retreat and use that in a, a skillful way to allow you to come out victorious regarding this obligation that you're dealing with um on some of my word cards I've gotten so far as to do some additional writing on them. And so um, right now I'm feeling guided to bring out some of the words and some of the things that I've written here. So it says responsibility, commitment, and duty. But here's a quote from Wayne Dyer. It says relationships based on obligation lack dignity. So again, there's a relationship that somebody is retreating from because they're just feeling obliged to be there. And um, it is actually going to allow you to have a lot of balance inside of yourself and in your relationships by doing that. And you're, you're going to be rewarded for it. And then I like this other quote here from Richard Bach. Your only obligation in any lifetime is to be true to yourself. Being true to anyone else or anything else is not only impossible, but the mark of a fake Messiah. So, you know, you, you can't stay in this situation just to make somebody else feel better because you decided at some point 
that that's what you were going to do. It's time for you to retreat from it because you're going to find greater balance in this new thing that's coming in. So thank you for joining me for the daily reading for Wednesday, August 24th, 2016. It is my intention that I'll do these readings live on my Periscope. And so if you're watching this on YouTube, please um, follow and subscribe on Periscope at Nail Fads. And I will make a new little sign thing for you so that I don't have to tell you, but I will also, I'm gonna have to add that into the information below the video, but it's N-A-I-L-F-A-D-S. Uh, nail fads and for those of you who don't know I am Melinda Nail Fanatic I'm the owner of Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio in North Las Vegas and also love peace and happiness to row and so I do this because I love it and I love you so I hope that you found something during this reading to help you brighten up your day encourage you and uh, I look forward to reading for you again soon if I can help you with a personal reading please email me I often get them out the same day. I'm sure that at some point I'll get so busy that I can't, but as of now, it's usually the same day or very soon the day after that I'm able to get to personal reading requests. I'm so grateful for you and your support. Thank you for all the love, all the hearts, all the likes, shares, the subscriptions, inviting followers, whatever you're doing to support me. I'm just so grateful that you're here. And for my live audience, I really love the fact that you have tuned in for my reading. So if I get the chance later, I have some other work that I need to do tonight, but if I get the chance later, I do want to get back on and do some more personal readings for you. So make sure you have subscribed to the notifications just in case I do have the time available later on to do that, okay? And so for now, love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine. Until next time.